played quite well for the team. It wasn't enough to carry, but it needs to here. The shake from the coaches one last time if they as they leave their players to game number five. This one is for all the marbles. Tweet either hashtag SKT win or hashtag EDG win to at LOLE Sports. Let us know who you think will win the 2015 Midseason Invitational. Ladies and gentlemen, game five is not gonna find Wolf oh, they anywhere can, near this. They can pinch if they don't show in the lane right here. Have that set up here where with the wave beam pushing in the bottom lane, SKT should expect multiple members to be nearby. Yet Marin is now teleporting in. Wolf is here to help for? him. It's 4v2. Oh, what timing here by EDG. Marin's going to go down to an ignite. They don't know Bengi's coming as well. How long do they stay for this? If Wolf can get some good passive shots down on different nice members, shot by Wolf. that's going to be good kills. They get one for themselves now and a two for one. Bengi's going to be able to stave off any more. But a great job there by Wolf. Wolf was able to. Bengi is level five at the moment. But if they can keep finding SKT in between these turrets and isolating them. Oh, beautiful. Sweet. Wolf may not be able to make it out of this one alive. Too many members again. Koro is right up against the turret. Is this the finalizer from Faker here? Can he clean up the fight? Koro a little too tanky for the damage they're bringing. There's the mirror image from Faker. Ooh, He's gonna start it. dancing around. Pulls back and Faker's good to go. Koro would have stayed alive there, I think. He tried beautifully. Late game for EDG, Death would have to go superhuman for them to have damage. So his kills are actually incredibly important unless they can accelerate this game. Oh, looks like we also have Wolf coming in here for Pawn. He's gonna throw it, throw up the dredge line. Don't know if that actually hit the wall or Pawn. Pawn's still moving around here. He's gonna put down the Soul Shackle now into Wolf. Twisted advance there as Koro finalizes the kill. And now Faker actually gets hit with that binding, but Mirror Image comes off, so he's still able to run around. Clear Love trying to focus now with the rest of the team. It is onto Faker. That's his Mirror Image, and he is already out and ready to oh, make more. deep. Chain miss. That's gonna be Koro going down finally after wanting too much in the fight, and the team couldn't answer with it. Looks like they're gonna be able to grab that for themselves. Wolf, nice dodge on the dark binding, preventing any of that crowd control from hurting SKT's disengage, but it's gonna be Bang putting himself right in the fight. Koro's already teleported in from the backside as well. Bang falls down. Wolf gets one last passive control on to, uh, uh, I believe, Daft, and he... They go slowly on the outside. They have no chance to even look at that dragon. It is down. Marin is gnarled out, and EDG may not want this right away. They put a lot of focus onto the tank. Faker already has Daft with a spell shield down. Just a few more to finalize that kill. It's actually Faker that gets hit. He's forced to flash, and now Wolf is left in a sore spot. Faker's mimic coming, or rather, mirror image coming back to try and deter the fight, but Bang may also go down here as well. Faker got a few stacks on this one, but that's Ooh. all that he's gonna get as his team goes down after grabbing Dragon. So once again, EDG, they get a fight where they're really, really strong here in the mid game. They can make pushes happen, but because of the blue buff harassment by Marin there, it opened up just a small enough window for them to go. There's Severoff, they really wanna fight. They just hit their spell shields to block Faker's damage. They are gonna get in onto Wolf though. Good kill coming from Deft. They are still following with a bit of on the hunt pressure. Righteous Glory just wears off, and they go in. Koro's right in the middle with Ben from Maelstrom on. That's hit, a huge hit, hit, wall damage. The Soul Shackle causing SKT to flash out every which way. EDG is all over SKT all over the health bars, and they drop everyone but Banky and Faker. And they find the... There is a pink dope being placed by SKT. Yeah, the ultimate Banky. counter. Oh, teleport in for Maokai. This is a double flank. Clear Love coming in as well. That's the two of them coming from SKT's side here. Wolf's going to be the first focus, so he can't crowd control the fight. Koro and the rest of the team now reposition. Marin in the middle, but everybody dodges immediately as he gives the Gnar ult out. A double kill coming in for Clear Love as he comes up huge with the ultimate, and it looks like they will continue. They do not take the easy dragon. Instead, they try and go for the big play Baron. Marin and Bengi are here. They're peeling off. Marin's teleport plays have saved. Saved SKT more than once. Will it be this time again? They do lose out on Faker. Bengi there. Faker comes in. Faker doesn't have that many stacks on that Magi. He's only seven now. Now he's starting to stack it up as he takes down Mako. He still has eyes on the rest of the team. Elixir of Sorcery on him as well to get out a bit of extra damage. Koro finds him with the twisted advance as he pulls back to distortion and he can't get out alive. Marin's forced to turn as soon as he nars out. Unfortunate for SK. Significant amount of damage right now. 
Infinity Edge, yeah. Static Shiv, Last Whisper, soon to be Death Cap on Pawn. No Zonia's in that Morgue build because he is blowing people up and they do not respect the damage of SKT right now because, honestly, their tanks are doing their job right now. SKT again going into Forces Dragon. Here's a fight. Bangy in the front. Absolute zero. Get popped immediately. Hardly any damage to be delivered there. And Marin, he's going to get the binding. He's going to gnar. That may be enough time, but SKT actually doesn't go back in. It's just kind of saving him for now. But Koro finds his way in. Wolf's going to be next. Do they follow over the wall? No. They get positioned. Pink Ward allows them to know they aren't in vision. Okay, but they do Marin, the bottom lane They push. still know they're there. I thought it was pushing the other way from the four. All it's going to take is one binding, guys. Pawn actually very low from a few shots from Bang. That Acid Hunter did connect, and EDG is now in a sore spot as they were pushing a little too hard. Getting over aggressive has been their problem in these fights, and now SKT is going to want it. Absolute zero keeps the tanks in range. They're able to drop down Mako now. That's going to be Pawn going down. Stack for Faker and a shutdown for him. So much tank now on SKT, but can they actually answer back? Deft is still alive, able to put out damage from the backside, and the DPS is just too much for the tanks of SKT. Game saving holds here from SKT. Pawn took too much damage to have an impact in that fight on Morgana. That's the G if they got it though. Let's look at Marin and his Nar. They might try another double flank. Coral, it's like the same story as last time. Eve, yeah. Maokai, here they come. Baker is in the eyes of clear love, but yeah, he's zeroed out. He's not going to be able to get with the team. Bang in a bad spot. He goes down to death. Bangy's now trying to retreat. Baker gets hit. Very low, but in a safe spot. That's going to be Bangy going down. I'm not sure they're going to be able to protect this inhibitor turret now, gentlemen. No, just go down. Have your tanks on this tower here. Take it down. Get inhibitor as well for yourself. EDG, once again, they use the dragon as some sort of a bait to get SKT moving down their wards all around them so they can flank with the Evelyn. With this is another very dangerous Baron. EDG needs it to win. Here comes SK Telecom. Bengi not there for the 50-50. Baron going very low at 1,500. It is going to go over to clear. Down goes Faker. They take down Faker immediately. EDG could have eyes on the base. Marin's going to be a distraction, but he's going down very fast, even as Meganar. Edward Gaming could have eyes on the Nexus, and we're 37 minutes in. SKT is going to try to put up one hell of a defense here. Baron Minions, the damage dealers down outside of Bank. Five people live for EDG. They are one push away from the Mid-Season Invitational Championship. Bengi, Bang, and Wolf now trying to keep them from being extinct in the Mid-Season Invitational. Here's the last engage. EDG doesn't even see the turrets. Eyes on SKT. SK Telecom T1 are wiped. The Nexus turrets are going down. LPL's Edward Gaming are the 2015 Mid-Season Invitational Champions. For the first time that I can remember in a major international event of this caliber, All-Stars Season 3 World Championship, All-Stars of the Year then, the 2014 World Championship, a Korean team has fallen in a best of five. SK Telecom taken down here by Ed One Gaming in a thrilling series of events. And these are your new champions. On once again taking the victory on an international stage, also along with Deft. These guys know the feeling and once again get to live it. What a game, what a series to go all the way to five. And Edward Gaming come out on top. Standing ovation from the crowd here. The amazingness of this series, Deficio. The way, the way you win this one, you give LeBlanc to Faker, you're ready to counter it. You go back to the side that works for you, where you dive onto the enemy team, and you just win. Team Ladies team and fight. gentlemen, your 2015 Mid-Season Invitational Champions, Edward Gaming! Put your 
hands together for Riot Redbird and Magus for the presentation of the medals. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, your 2015 MSI Champions EDG! Huge moment for our winners there on the campus of Florida State University and a very well-deserved honor. Congratulations to all of them, Edward Gaming. Now we'll hear more from Shocks and the winning players in just a moment. But first, we have some stuff to talk about here on the analyst desk, gentlemen. I mean, the feeling there that they must be, that they must have on that stage, those medals in hand. I mean, I can't imagine it. I feel actually super, super happy for them. They deserved it. They had a really tough road and you can just see the faces of them. I think, you know, standing there, I can only dream, you know, yeah. that must be an insane feeling. This is a team that has been regionally dominant for such a long time, and they went back to the drawing boards. They made the changes they felt they needed to make. Two for Reams.